Hi everyone, my name is Furkan. In this video, I am going to show you how we can use HMI as a slave for Modbus TCP IP communication. For this example, I will use SEPSC for master. To be able to make the PLC master, we will use ETHRW command here. Let's see how it used. For input, we will put IP address of the communication port and read write mode. So let's look at here. For first data, we will put IP3 and IP3 of our IP address we, that we want to communicate with for this project. Our HMI IP is here, so the IP3 and IP4 is 1 and 6, and IP1 and IP2 is 192 and 168. So we put these values in the data, and the communication port, uh, this is for SEPLC, is 108. Uh, destination station ID for HMI, uh, it's 1, and the communication timeout flag, I will make it 0 for. Uh, PLC is run and after that after two seconds the communication will start for the first one I will write a value the fifth data for ETH RW is the communication mode uh, for ETH RW command let me show you here there are to communication methods for, sorry for uh, the communication codes are hex 3 hex 4 hex 6 and hex 10 we will use here i will write down hex 10 so we can write multiple values for our slave and the address for this one our dollar zero Modbus address is hex 0, so I put here hex 0 and let's make it 6. So just we only use one data here and the uh, destination is D0, so we will send D0 data to the dollar 0. When the communication is success, the 1395 will be this value or the 8 bit will active then we passive this data and then activate the bit m1 this bit for the read part we will send fifth data for ETH RW is hex 3 it means first when m0 is active we will write when m1 active we will read so we have a loop here for read part, we will read the data from HMI is hex 1 address. It means the dollar 0 is the hex 0 and the dollar 1 is the hex 1. So we will read the data from HMI and PLC address will be D10 and the communication is done. We will deactivate M1 and activate M0 so the loop will be continued. So let's download PLC program. And the download is successful, so let's online add for the screen part HMI. And I wrote here numeric display dollar zero and the numeric entry dollar one. And the communication settings, let me show you. I didn't choose any Ethernet connection here because our HMI will be slave. So let's download the program. And the download is successful. Let's connect. Okay, so let's put these two show use at the same time. My PS is stop run when 
I activate timer is ticking and the communication has started so you can see here the fifth data of ETH RW is changing 3 to 6 so one time read one time write let's put D0 here 5 and the data send it to the HMI so D0 will is our dollar zero so when I change the data it will change when I put dollar ten sorry uh, d ten my slave value zero so it will not change I will put here the data so it will write it will wrote to the SEPLC so in this case in this project we use uh, SEPLC as a master for Modbus TCP IP communication and the HMI is slave. Thanks for watching. See you later.